What in the hell are you doing? Ooh, don't get excited, girl. I'm just trying to cause any trouble. I'm not going to hurt you either. Just relax. Did you sleep well? What do you think? Well, I just want to make sure you're comfortable, that's all. When the hell am I getting out of here? Not until the old man comes up with the ransom. Not before then. Besides, you don't have to worry about it. Big Daddy's going to be having us pick up a girl in a few hours. You mean I'm going to have company? She's one of your kind. What the hell you mean, my kind? Oh, don't get upset. I didn't mean anything by it. I mean, she's black. She's the wife of an African president. Man, I don't give a damn what she is. Well, that doesn't matter. We're going to be here for a few days, so why don't we get a little friendly? Get your damn hands off of me. You sorry, bitch. I'll see you later. started out in Harlem as a detective. David was a CIA man. Helped me out with a couple of really rough spots. I wonder if any of those rough spots had anything to do with girls. Sue, I wonder where you get such a dirty mind. Have him come in as soon as he arrives. Sure. Oh, yes. He's expecting you. You can go right in. 
Thank you. Thank you. Well, look in here. Hey, hey. The guy from Harlem. Just like old times. How you doing? Fine. You remember when we used to play football together? Do I remember. I was quarterback. He caught the winning touchdown pass. He scored. I scored the ladies. Sure. Is that the game you're talking about? That's the one. <laughs> but that's not quite the story. That's cool. Tell me, what can I do for you? First, let me introduce my partner here, Paul Benson. Paul, how, how are you doing? doing? My partner speaks uh, pretty highly of you. Does he? Yeah. Well, you know, Al, you wanted a great guy. I think you're a hell of a guy. But you know both here, too. That's quite all right, though. What you guys have to see? All right. Well, thank you. So what line of business brings you to Miami? Oh, still with the CIA, huh? A person from an African nation will be meeting secretly with the Secretary of State. They arrived today, but he'll fly down tomorrow from Washington, D.C. How come the meeting will be held in Miami instead of Washington? Our client's life is in danger, and we're sure that foreign powers will be trying to prevent this meeting. What I can't understand, Dave, is why the CIA doesn't supply the security. Why do they want me? Something just doesn't seem to fit, babe. It's simple. It's very possible that there could be a leak in the CIA. Someplace, somewhere. But we're not taking any chances. This person from my African nation, she's the wife of a chief of state. And we're thinking that you'll check in at a hotel as Man and wife. Hands off. She's the wife of a chief of state. Hey, now that would take everybody off guard. But let me ask you a silly question. Don't say it. We don't need an international crisis. You want to know if she's cute? Yes. But remember, international repercussions. Yes, she's cute. Hey... Now, how'd you guess that? Al, remember the good old days? Hong Kong, Bangkok, dirty old man. Yeah, but getting back to business, just how much do I get for this little number? There's $2,000 in it for you. Hey, that's great for 24-hour service. That's not bad. In fact, for that kind of dough, I don't care if the lady diplomat is 80 years old. We have two agents at the airport now picking up Mrs. Shanti. We have precisely 30 minutes to get to the hotel lobby where she'll be. Wait a minute. If I'm taking this case, I have to pick the hotel. Have your agents drop her at the towers. The desk clerk will tell her where my room is. I'll be waiting there. We'll be registered as a Mr. and Mrs. Connors. That's a little irregular, but uh, I guess we'll have to do it as you say. Look, if I'm going to worry about the security of Mrs. Ashanti, let me do it my way. The desk clerk at the towers is a personal friend of mine, and he'll handle the situation for me. Gentlemen, I think I'd better get to the hotel and make the necessary arrangements, and I suggest you get in touch with your agents and tell them of the change of plans. Good luck, Al. Don't worry. This is going to be an easy case. I hope so. Well, if you're ready for problems, you can reach me at this number. Okay. Cancel my appointments for the rest of the day. Okay. but it was necessary for security purposes. You're supposed to be my wife for 24 hours. My name is Al, and we're registered as Mr. and Mrs. Al Connors. Hey, wait a minute. You don't mean... Of course not. It's just for security purposes. 
In fact, the suite has two bedrooms. I'll be staying over here, and you can take that one. I'm just your personal bodyguard, ma'am. Hey, you know, I really feel miserable today. I'm in pain all over. Just show me to my bedroom, please. With pleasure, ma'am. Did you say you were not feeling well? Yes. I'm in pain all over. You know, I had to stay on that plane for so long. You know, I really can use a good massage. Okay. I'll call for masseuse. Good. Then I'll change it into something more comfortable. All right. I would appreciate it if you would send a masseuse to suite 304 for my wife. About five minutes? That's fine. Thank you. What are you doing at the window? Oh! I was just admiring the scenery. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yes, I guess it is. She's ready. You can go in. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm terrible. Bad back, huh? You know, I really need this. My back is killing me. feels good. I feel much better already.
Do good work. Al, what are you doing in here? Just admiring you. Um, I really don't feel comfortable about men being in the area while I'm doing this, if you don't mind. Al, would you leave the room, please? Sorry, ladies, but I enjoy watching. It's been a long time, you know? All right, you peep and Tom, you may remain. Such a beautiful life. That's right. I can't believe they're paying me for this. Hmm. Princess, you could never guess how happy I am to be here. Yeah, I bet you are. It's a good thing you don't bring your old man along on trips like these. Hey, wait a minute. Let's just Touchy. leave my husband Touchy. out Touchy. of it. I'm starved. How about you? How about some food? As a matter of fact, I was just getting ready to ask you the same thing. So why don't we go down and get a bite to eat? No. For security purposes, we have to eat here. Oh, I've had it up to here with security. Oh, it's not that bad. I'll call room service and get us something. Uh, yeah, this is Suite 304. We'd like to have two New York strip steaks. Well done. Uh, yeah, we'll have, um... Bring a bottle of scotch. J and B. Being the wife of the president must be a pretty in interesting position. Yeah, interesting for him, but boring for me. Boring? Yes, he's always gone out of town someplace. And there's nothing for me to do around the house. A lady as lovely as you always has something to do. Yeah, like watching television all the time. Oh, come on, I'm sure you Reading got a little bit. paper about him. Uh, you mean to say you don't have anything on the side? No extra curriculum? Steph, I have to return to my country and back to my husband. Hmm. And we don't have very much time, do we? We certainly don't. Well. Hmm. I'm to this. Hey, wait a minute. Just because I'm bored doesn't mean that I'm hot to trust. Now, where does a foreigner pick an accent like that? Well, when I was very young in the... Re and how'd you become the wife of a president? Oh, that surprised me. Uh -huh. But he's fantastic, but... A little boring. Yes. Yeah. You have that. Tell me, where are you from? Harlem. Harlem? Oh, wow, I spent six months in Harlem. Did you like it? Oh, yes, fantastic. I had the most... Please, but there's too many detectives there. Oh, is there? Well, I didn't notice. You weren't looking. But all that experience in Harlem... 
I should be very lucky to have you for my bodyguard. Baby, you don't know how lucky you are. Harlem is the experience playground for all people interested in becoming detectives. Oh, really? That must be room service. I'll get the door. Oh, I hope so. I'm starving. So am I. Take a block away. But the worst is yet to come. I'm sure he's got some buddies. Get in there fast and get on some clothes. office. No, I haven't heard from him, Mr. McLeod. Well, if Al's checked out the hotel, I'm sure he had good reason to. Well, listen, if you leave me your number, I'll have him call you when I hear from him. Uh, is that 685-4932? Okay. Don't worry, I'm sure he's all right. I'm sure everything's fine, okay? Okay, I haven't called you. Bye-bye. Or another hotel would be too risky. I think 
figure out places to stay and places to be right now. Okay, all right. You've convinced me. You can stay here. But how long are you going to hide this girl in my place? Just for tonight. Look, baby, if you really dig me, just trust me. Okay, I'll be ready in five minutes. Spend the night in a hotel. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> well, bye for now. Goodbye. Are you comfortable? Feel free to make yourself at home here. Thank you. It's a very nice place. Would you like something to drink? Yeah, sounds like a great idea. Would you like for me to fix it? Beautiful. Just show me where the bar is. Uh, the bar is right over there. I'd better give David McCloud a call. slight problem at the hotel and I had to split for a safer place. Yeah, everything's cool. Everything's all right, babe. Yeah, yeah, she's here with me. The meeting's at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, you want me to drop her off? You're going to pick her up. How about about 9.30? 9 o'clock? That's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the penthouse apartments. Suite 1502. Right. Don't worry. Everything's cool, man. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. Bye. Do you need any help? No. I'm doing just fine. All right, I'll be right with you. i got to make another call. Sure. Al Connor's office. What's new, Pussycat? Al, I was worried about you. Your friend McCloud called. Yeah, everything's under control. You can go home now. Yes, I'll be in tomorrow as usual. Okay, sir. Good night now. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Sure, boss. That leaves me a lot of leeway. Oh, I almost forgot. You had another call. A guy working for the CIA. He wanted your address. Did you give it to him? Yes, boss. Did I do the wrong thing? No, that's all right. You did the right thing. It'll work out. Okay, boss, but please be careful. Okay, bye. Bye.
That's just what the doctor ordered. Your meeting with the Secretary of State is at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. They'll be picking you, uh, you up at around 9. You should be in pretty safe hands then. But I feel as though I'm in safe hands now. Oh, do you now? Tell me. How does your body feel? Are you still having those aches and pains that were bothering you? Oh, yes. My body still aches all over. That is you know, I used to be in the school once myself. Oh, really? Come on. No, seriously. Turn around here. Let me see what I can do for you. Mm. How does this feel? Mm, that feels good. Perhaps I should do you. Oh. <laughs> mm, no wonder you got rid of those bad guys. So strong. You know, there's a slight problem that I forgot to mention to you. Oh? What kind of problem? This apartment only has one bedroom. Oh, that's no problem. You can share. Ah, beautiful. But I haven't finished talking yet. Oh? I got it. You sleep on the floor, and I'll take the bed. Come on. you got to be joking. That's not fair. <laughs> okay, I was just joking. Where are you? Then let's not waste any time. Uh, i got an idea. Come on. so much I'm beginning to feel like the bellboy. <laughs> I'll just stick my hand for you. You know, Al, I don't know how I keep it for you. You're quite an experience yourself, Princess. I'm glad you think so. Uh, listen, why don't you get out of the things? Why go fast? Why are you so slow? I guess I think I'm going to change. Change? Casanova. You look tired. I had quite a night, believe me. I don't think I'm taking any more babysitting jobs. Oh, so your lot stuff turns out to be babysitting, huh? Oh, really? I almost got my damn head blown off. As a matter of fact, babysitting can be a lot rougher than you think. Baby. <laughs> What's up for today, Al? Nothing. I'm free. Uh, I think in about 15 minutes I'm splitting for the rest of the day. The rest of the day? Al, it's only about 10 o'clock. 
What's going on? Thank you for the time. Give me about 15 minutes and you'll find out. <laughs> Al? Your business. Sweetie, I got an answer for both of those questions. You got two questions, I got one answer. Tell your damn business. Sir, you don't have to use that kind of language in here. Just a minute. I'll see if he's here. Al, I think that goof off day of yours is about to be ruined. What the hell are you talking about? There are three dudes out there that are demanding to see you. They wouldn't tell me who they are or what they want. Hey, Dad. You think that dude will see us? Thank it! He better see us. I have a hunch those guys from Big Daddy's game. You want me to tell them you're not in? Sue, I'm ready for those bones any time they want to see me. If Big Daddy wants to get me, that game can be played two ways. Have those dudes come in. As a matter of fact, I better take a little safety. Have them come in. Well, you're the boss. Gentlemen can go in. <laughs> Thanks, good looking. Thanks, baby. You wait here. And while you wait, take care of anything that needs taken care of. Right on. You probably heard of me. I'm Harry Duvall. How you doing, Mr. Duvall? I'm Al Connors. It's my pleasure to meet you, Al. I heard a lot of good news about you. This is my son, Larry. Larry. Sam. Now, what can I do for you, Jim? Well, first, for starters, boss just put the gun away. We're here to make a deal. We're not here to waste you, man. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. I came here to see you today in your office, son, for two reasons. Two very important reasons to me and my happiness. One, it's kind of personal, but, but I came here, the reason why I came is because because I know what you can do. You, you saved that African queen from being assassinated. How the hell did you know about that? That's supposed to be top secret. Top secret? <laughs> in my business out here in the street, in this jungle, he was supposed to know everything that happened 24 hours a day. As a matter of fact, now, here's something you should know. Big Daddy Gang, them hoodlums, and my boys have been fighting for a long, long time over valuable property that brings in millions of dollars each and every day. That sounds like a problem between the two of you, not mine. Just suppose. Just suppose I got you involved with the problem and offered you some serious money. I don't mean the type of money you make sit behind that desk. I mean some serious money. 
Sorry, gentlemen. You've come to the wrong place. I don't deal with hoodlums. Let's go, Dad. Hold we don't need this hold talk. It, hold it, hold it. Well, I can find my sister myself. Sit down! Sister. Did you say sister? That's right, Al. I don't like to get sentimental, Al, but... He is talking about his sister, who is my daughter. Damn right. My daughter, Wanda. Big Daddy's kidnapped her. Well, it's a case of kidnapping. That's another matter. I'd be interested in taking the case, but there's one thing. If you don't level with me, you're going to pull me off the case. That's an automatic thing. You did? I can understand that. Okay. Okay, Al. What are you doing when you get off tonight, baby? Cooking. You and I have on the same color outfit. Why don't you and I go on down here to the disco tonight? You know? What are we going to do? Dance. Get together. Two beautiful people. What is it? One beautiful person. Well, hey, baby. You know, life is beauty itself. And with you and I together, everything will be groovy. You see where I'm coming from? No. Get off my desk. <sighs> All right. Well, I tried anyway. Al, man to man. Man to man. If you take this case, baby, I'll pay you anything. You name a number and you got it. Okay, so fill me in on the particulars. I'm not going to just fill you in with words, man. I'm going to prove to you what I'm talking about. Lay the good stuff on it. You got $500,000 worth of stuff right there. And you got a quarter million dollars in cash right there. Now, if that's not filling you in, I don't know what street you live on, baby. I suppose you want me to make the delivery and pick your daughter up, right? It all has to be done, Al, this afternoon. It's got to be done this afternoon. The exchange and the drop has to take place at the same time. Okay, so where do I make the trade? I don't know exactly, Al, but here's what I do know. you got to go to the Body Builder Spa. It's on 163rd Street, and you meet a guy there by the name of Jim. I know the place. But what I can't understand is why you want me to do the job. Why don't somebody in my organization do the job? Do you realize, Al, that we're talking about life and death? Everybody's too upset. After all, man, you're talking about my daughter. I'm going to need a picture of her. I wouldn't want to pick up the wrong <laughs> I guess you're right about that. Here's a picture of my little Wanda. You're found. I'll bet she's quite beautiful. Yes, she is. Incidentally, this little job is going to cost you 25 big ones. <laughs> you didn't say anything, not usual, Al. Here's five G's for a starter. It's all there. You don't have to count it. I'll take your word for that. Where do I take her? Wanda. My daughter will tell you that. I've got the money, the coke, and a picture of your daughter. There's one more thing I need. What is that, Al? That's all the information you can give me on this big daddy fellow. Who is he? When you say who is he, you're talking about what he looks like and where he hangs out. Nobody knows. Al, that's one thing we can't tell you much about. Very few people ever see big daddy. The only thing I can tell you, now, he's about six feet, two inches tall, has blonde, curly hair, and man, you're talking about some muscles. He got some muscle on him, and he always wears... Bands around his muscle. That's the only thing we can tell you about Big Daddy. Nobody ever sees him. That's true. In fact, he has a reputation of never pulling any of his own stunts. He always sent his cheap bombs to the dirt. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to pay this Big Daddy fellow a little visit. I think I've been started. Well, I love that. That's music in my ear. By the way, how do I get in touch with you? How do you get in touch with us? Don't you worry about that. We'll get in touch with you. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Positive. Well, I was just hoping that maybe... All right, my man. All right. You got to get out of here. Good looking. You've been... You took care of business. 
heretics kill you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute? That's money, honey. Wait just a minute. You give this to him so he can buy what he was looking for. What? <laughs> what were you looking for, man? Yeah, that brawl is. I think you all have a problem. Hey, eat shit. Shit is what What's you this do? fuzzy head of yours? What the hell you think? What's that on your head? I like this what I see, but I don't like that. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you like beautiful? No, it looks like pubic hair. That's okay, too. Trash. Eat shit. You eat your damn self. Sit down, will you? Just cool it. Oh, you funky the light. What's your problem? I have a problem. Put your hand off of me. Look, bitch. Look, you better listen. You better keep your damn mouth shut. Something's gonna happen to you. You might not like it. Oh, mm. oh you're in nice to squeeze. Get your hands off of me! Get your hands off of me! Damn, it's almost one o'clock. I wonder where the hell Jim is. I don't know. Uh, he'll be here in a few minutes. It's awful quiet inside. What do you think Mike's doing? Yeah, he's probably knocking off a piece of that ass. Ah, oh, for me! Hey, calm down, will you? Hey, cool it. I'm not going to bother you anymore. Just cool it. Let's talk about this. Look, I'll make you a deal. You give me a little action or I'll let you go. How's that sound? Hey, Hucky. No damn fool. I know you're not going to let me go. I know what's going on. Yeah, that damn big daddy would do me in if I did let you go. Find him uh, up in the sun and just cut up the stairs there and take a right. Understand your gym. That's me. Who you want? My name is Al. I think we can deal. Deal? Deal what, nigga? There's a certain chick I'm looking for. I've been told you have her. What are you talking about that little black bitch? Wanda. Yeah, that's the one. You get the money and the merchandise, buddy? I can get the money and the merchandise. I just have to know where it's delivered. Yeah, well, there's a mailbox about a mile south of Highway 41, Oak Children Road. You'll be there today at 4 o'clock alone. Bring the money and be there on time. Oh, uh, just remember, go along. You see the girl, she may end up getting hurt. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I'll be there. You make sure you got the check. Come here. Come here. 
stay down. Will you? Come on. Too bad looking. I haven't had any of that dark meat in a long time. Yeah, why not? I wonder if Mac will let us take turns at least. You interested? Thank you. 
Al, don't say a word. I know. Detectives sometimes get weird assignments. Huh. You just give me five minutes and I'll be ready. Wait a minute. Let me introduce you to him. Oh, who cares? Hey, she old lady. No, she's just a friend. She'll be all right after she comes off a little bit. Sorry about that. Go to a hotel. No, it's much safer here. Why don't you sit down and relax? <sighs> What I can't understand is how your father got into drugs if he was doing so well in gambling, as you say. Well, from what I heard, he was forced into the drug business. I don't know what's going on. He was ga gambling, you know, he made his money. I don't know what's going on. I just want to leave. Uh. Me out this time, Mr. Private Eye. It's just for tonight. Incidentally, I'm going to leave a package here. I'll pick it up at some other time. Oh, I couldn't care less. Pick it up when you want. Oh, baby, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to ask you. Yeah. Get yourself a hotel room. The next time, there won't be a You next and time. me. Goodbye. Nice knowing you, whoever you are. Don't get mad. That's harm you anyway. No, the trap. They didn't get too far. Pretty tense. Why don't you relax? Make yourself comfortable. You're safe. Yes. But I need a nice shower. Shower might do you well. There's uh, some clothes in the closet. Look through them. Maybe something will fit you. I'm sure it's right. I'm sure she wouldn't get mad. She might bitch about it a little bit, but uh, she'll get over She's an orange. Right. By the way, uh, why don't you give your father and brother a ring before you take a shower and let them know you're okay, because I'm sure they're worried about you. I don't want to talk to them now. Okay. Give me the number. I'll call them on you. The number is 377 Sure. You're safe now. Yeah, let me speak with Mr. Harry DeBall. Tell him it's Al Connors. Harry. Yeah, it's me. She's fine. Uh, yeah, but I can't bring it to you right now. No, no. She, nothing's wrong. She's fine, but I just can't bring it to you right now. She doesn't want to see you. It's a long story. All right? I tell you what, just be at my office tomorrow morning at 10. She'll be there. I'll have her there. Right. 
Okay, okay, Harry. Just be cool, okay? See you tomorrow morning. Right, me. I've been doing some thinking. I can't understand why your father got into the drug scene if he was doing so well in gambling, as you say. Well, really, he was forced into the drug scene because he made, he wanted to be, well, he wanted to be the biggest dude in town. You're right. Too many people OD on the hard stuff. I promised my father that the first deal he had with drugs, that I would leave home. And do you know that two weeks ago he bought in a big shipment? And that's when I decide to split. Naturally, I'm assuming that that's the opportunity that Big Daddy needed to kidnap you. He doesn't want your father in the business. He doesn't need the competition at all. I'll never go back home. Well, I can understand how you feel. But I think you'd be a lot better off at home with them right now than you would be away. Besides, you may be the influence that they need to get out of this drug shit. Yes, I know my father and brother need someone to talk to him. But right now, I'm just not in the mood. Well, besides all that, I'm glad you came down here tonight. But you must go back to them tomorrow. I've already spoken to your father and made arrangements for us to meet with him tomorrow morning in my office. I'm not just asking you to attend. You will be there. Well, I promise I'll be there. But I'm not sure I'm going with him. I understand where you're coming from. Look, I got an idea. How about a little soft music? Yeah. A little dancing? Maybe a few more drinks and we'll just forget about this whole deal right now. That it might. How's that? That's very good. I'll be needing this against you, will
I got a plan. No, Ma, I don't have the headache anymore. Well, you don't have to worry about me. You know I have my pills with me if I need them. Are you going to cook the greens tonight? Oh, they're already on. I'll be home at 5 o'clock. I haven't had a good meal in a good while. Oh. Ma, I'm going to have to go. My boss is here. Good morning, Mama. Yeah, I'm back. Bye. How many times did I have to tell you that this is a business phone? Hi, Al. I want you to meet Wanda Duvall. Wanda, this is Sue. Hi. How are you doing, Wanda? Listen, Wanda's father, Harry Duvall, and her brother Larry will be here at any moment now. I want you to have them to come into my office as soon as they get in. Are you talking about those guys that were here the other day? Listen, I'm not asking for a commentary. Hey, you have to excuse my father and brother. Sometimes they just don't have good manners. Well, there's reasons for everything, and I'm sure that they have one. Come on. You yeah, have a very nice office. Thank you. You know, you're really very pretty this morning. As a matter of fact, you really turned me on. So do you. One day, you're going to make some man a very happy person. Can I hope that that person might be me? You want to make a woman really happy? Say the word, and it will be me. on the way to the police. Niggas, you crazy. You mean to tell me you don't give up all that shit, huh? My, man, you got to be losing your goddamn mind. Well, now, I hope there's no objection. No objection, your black ass. Nobody got okay, to tell me. Okay, please, though. All right, Wanda, all right, all right, all right. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Here's what you do. You get a check in the mail, our mail special delivery, first thing in the morning. That's not necessary. Just what I promised you. As a matter of fact, here's your first payment back. If you want to be Robin Hood, I'll take the money. But when I take the money, I'm going to give you some advice, Al. I'm going to give you some advice. You better look out because Big Daddy going to be dead on your case for your black ass. All I can say is... I know. <laughs> Thanks and good luck. Come on, Wanda, let's go home. Bye-bye. All right, now. I feel bad. Now, is there anything wrong? No, everything's fine. Well, listen, we're going to have to close the office up for a few days. I want you to get a couple of boxes, put all the files in, and take them home with you. What's happening? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Just do what I tell you, okay? All right. Get the boxes. Oh, okay. Al, is there anything wrong? I don't understand what's happening. No, everything's fine. Al, call his office. Just a minute, I'll see if he's in. There's a man on the phone who says he's big day, and you may as well face him now. Should I tell him you're out? No. Maybe he's right. Perhaps I should talk to him. Now, why should I run? Let me see. Connor speaking. Yeah, I want to talk to you too, man. Be at the 79th Street Marina in one hour. But Big Daddy, this is between me and you. So come alone. And I'm worried about you. Don't worry, baby. Everything's going to be fine. 
but I've got to go right now. If anything should happen to me, destroy all my thoughts. But Al... Hello, Al Connor's office. Oh, Wanda, I'm so glad you called. Al got a call from someone calling himself Big Daddy, and he said something about meeting him at the 79th Street Marina. You know, Connors, I could use a man like you in my operation. For what? Kidnapping? Dope? Murder? Uh-uh, maybe that's not my thing. So what the hell is your thing, Connors? What's your price? We all have a price. Big Daddy, you can't afford me. Let me put it to you this way, Connors. People don't turn down my offers and live. It's the first time for everything. This ain't your first time, Connors. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. I couldn't help it, Big Daddy. Shut the fuck up, Jim. I didn't even know they were in the house. We found your peeper Tom in the bushes over there. I suspected he had friends with him. How'd you find out I was here? Wanda told us. Yeah, Sue hit me to this bullshit. Well, you got here just in time. Connie, you fucked up my whole organization. But I want to know one thing. Is it true that niggas are like dogs? They only fight in packs? I want a piece of your ass. If you're not a dog. Yeah, I can take this sucker right now, Al. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not necessary. I'm gonna talk you into anything. Get that bitch out of here. That's about enough of your bullshit. Look, there are times when a man has to do things. I don't want to keep the gentleman waiting. Big Daddy. I want your guarantee, Connors. When I kick your ass, I'm gonna get out of here alive. He's got my word. Kill that bastard, Al! Come on, Al! Give us your ass! Get in there, Big Daddy! Get him! Get in there, Big Daddy! Bust him up! Bust him up! Kick his ass! Kick his ass, pizza! Come on! 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 Get up! 
That's it, baby. That's it. You can do it. Let's go. Show him who's big guy. Sins, I got to wrap up on this case. And what mu what would that be? <laughs> Man, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I guess you better be buying a new suit, brother. Right on. 